Reading Course Development for English 115 Students. Chapter 6, Natural Medicines. Unit 3, Caffeine. Objectives. After completing this unit, students will be able to Describe how we obtain caffeine. Understand the worldwide consumption of caffeine. And explain the effect of caffeine on the human body. Paragraph 1. It's 11 p.m. and you've already had a full day of work or school. You're tired and you know you could use some sleep. But you still haven't finished everything you need to do or watched a movie that's due back tomorrow. So instead of going to bed, you reach for the remote and the caffeine. What is caffeine? Paragraph 2. Caffeine is a drug that is naturally produced in the leaves and seeds of many plants. It's also produced artificially and added to certain foods. Caffeine is part of the same group of drugs sometimes used to treat asthma. Paragraph 3. It is estimated that around the world people consume 120,000 tons of caffeine annually. Look at it another way. Every one of the 5 billion people on earth drinks one beverage, one cup, containing caffeine a day. Tea is the caffeinated beverage of choice. Paragraph 4. Caffeine is defined as a drug. It stimulates the central nervous system, the brain, and spinal cord. Caffeine causes the heart to beat faster and makes a person feel wide awake. Most people who are sensitive to caffeine experience a temporary increase in energy, and they feel happier. Paragraph 5. Caffeine is in tea leaves, coffee beans, chocolate, many soft drinks, and pain relievers. In its natural form, caffeine tastes very bitter. This is why most caffeinated drinks go through processing to hide the bitter taste. Got the jitters? Paragraph 6. The amount of caffeine in different beverages varies greatly. A 12-ounce cola can can have between 38 milligrams and 71.2 milligrams mg of caffeine. A 5-ounce cup of brewed coffee on average contains 115 milligrams of caffeine. Iced tea, 12 ounces, contains 70 milligrams. Dark chocolate has approximately 20 milligrams per ounce. Milk chocolate contains much less, 6 milligrams. Paragraph 7. If people take caffeine in moderate amounts, a single can of soda or cup of coffee, it can increase their ability to think quickly and clearly. Higher doses of caffeine, several cups of coffee, can cause anxiety, dizziness, headaches, and the jitters. Caffeine can make it difficult to sleep. Paragraph 8. Caffeine is addictive and may cause withdrawal symptoms for those who suddenly stop consuming it. These include severe headaches, muscle aches, temporary depression, and irritability. Paragraph 9. Caffeine moves through the body within a few hours after it's consumed and then passes through the urine. It's not stored in the body, but you may feel its effects for up to six hours if you're sensitive to it. Moderation is the key. Paragraph 10. Effects of caffeine vary from one person to the next. However, Doctors recommend that people should consume no more than about 100 milligrams of caffeine daily. That might sound like a lot, but one espresso contains about 100 milligrams of caffeine. Match the following words with its correct meaning on the right. Number one, asthma. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. C. An illness that causes difficulty in breathing. Now, let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word asthma. Mohammed, can you talk about this? In this picture, I see this man taking something, helping him breathing. And he is having trouble with breathing. And there is asthma. An illness causes difficulty in breathing. Now, let's take a look at a paragraph which has the vocabulary word asthma. I'll read the sentence for you. Caffeine is part of the same group of drugs sometimes used to treat asthma. Number two, ton. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. D. A unit of measuring weight equal to 2,240 pounds. Now, let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word ton. Muhammad, could you please talk about this? Well, I see a ton in here, and it's a unit of measuring 
weight equals to 2,240 pounds, a ton. Let's take a look at a paragraph which has the vocabulary word tons. I'll read the sentence for you. It is estimated that around the world, people consume 120,000 tons of caffeine annually. Number three, annually. Mohammed, please give us the correct meaning on the right. A, every year. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word annually. Mohammed, could you please explain this? Well, I see 2015 loading and it's maybe coming. And every year we come to the new year like this annually. Let's take a look at a paragraph which has the vocabulary word annually. I'll read the sentence for you. It is estimated that around the world people consume 120,000 tons of caffeine annually. Number four, stimulates. Mohammed, please give us the correct meaning on the right. B. Makes a part of the body active. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word stimulates. Mohammed, could you please talk about this? In this picture I see ideas coming to the mind, to the brain, and it's making it active. And that's what stimulates means. In this picture I see ideas coming to the brain, going out to the brain, and it's being active. Stimulates means active, or one part of the body being active. Stimulates. Now let's take a look at a paragraph related to the vocabulary word stimulates. I'll highlight the sentence for you. It stimulates the central nervous system, the brain and spinal cord. Choose the best answer. Question number one. What is caffeine? B. A naturally occurring drug found in the leaves and seeds of plants. Now let's take a look at a paragraph that gives us this answer. Caffeine is a drug that is naturally produced in the leaves and seeds of many plants. Question number two. How much caffeine is consumed in one day around the world? C. About 5 billion caffeinated beverages. Now let's take a look at a paragraph which gives us that answer. Every one of the 5 billion people on earth drinks one beverage, one cup containing caffeine a day. Question number three. What can you find caffeine in? A coffee and tea. Now let's take a look at a paragraph which gives us that answer. Caffeine is in tea leaves, coffee beans, chocolate, many soft drinks, and pain relievers. Now let's have a discussion. Mohammed, can you tell everyone what you learned in this unit? Well, I learned that you can obtain caffeine in many ways. It naturally occurs in coffee beans and tea leaves and it can be artificially provided and worldwide human consumes over a hundred thousand tons per year and that is a lot lastly although caffeine can stimulate your mind and keep you alert it can also give you a headache if not consumed in moderation